Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, For this uh, video presentation For MEC 523 Applied Electronics and Microprocessor For the mini project uh, We decided to make a temperature sensor And hand sanitizer dispenser Since it is uh, It is the COVID season so premises uh, usually has these things on their entrances so that customers would uh, use it to avoid uh, or to detect uh, symptoms to avoid uh, other customers uh, that has uh, COVID-19 so our group members are consist of me, uh, Ahmad Faiz bin Zulkarnain and a friend, uh, Mama Irfan bin Mustafa Kamal. So for the next part, I will give this to Irfan. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mama Irfan bin Mustafa Kamal. I'm from class EMD6M3A2. Today I will start the presentation of our mini project which is temperature sensor and automatic hand sanitizer dispenser. Okay, nowadays in the midst of COVID-19, checking temperature of someone before entering any places are part of standing operating procedure which is SOP as it become the first marker to detect if someone has contact with this virus pandemic. Any distinct temperature from normal one, especially if it higher, should take immediate notice and action to prevent the worst case scenario. Before the pandemic, we rarely see the sight of thermometer, especially at normal shops, supermarkets, and other buildings except hospital and medical center. The current period, the thermometer are being normalized to be obtained even in your own personal houses. Following that, the sales of sanitizer, wet tissues and face masks are skyrocketing and become popular demand for the citizens across all country, around the world. It become mandatory for the people to wear face masks before going out and always wear hand sanitizer before and after entering any places. For this mini project, the main purpose is to design an autonomous system consists of temperature sensor and dispense hand sanitizer using Arduino Uno, LCD display, temperature sensor TM, TMP36 model, ultrason ultrasonic distance sensor, micro server, buzzer, and LED using the latest smart technology. Infrared thermometers are commonly used as a mean to replace old thermometer as it's safer and more user-friendly. They perceive infrared energy from the surface of an object without having to touch it. Some are designed for use in industrial setting while others measure a person's body temperature more accurately. Research has shown that when applied properly, infrared or laser thermometer are just as precise as oral or rectal thermometer. Infrared thermometers are common among pediatrician, especially in this era, as children often fidget ar around when attempting to get their temperature read, but it also conducts genuine in mass temperature inspection. Then, what is exactly this temperature sensor that become core component in this thermometer? A temperature sensor is an electro electronic mechanism that evaluates the temperature of its surrounding and induces the feedback data into electronic data to record, examine, or indicate temperature variation. Some temperature sensor involve direct interaction with the physical object that being observed but they also indirectly access, uh, access the temperature of an item such as non-contact temperature sensor. 
There are many things that have been normalized during this pandemic or COVID-19. Our world has altered so much, especially in late 2019, and the world been hit with the deadliest virus that caused pandemic around the globe. The COVID-19 has shown as many distinct methods. It just seemed like yesterday when we were at the class, having a face-to-face -face learning, talking freely and roaming around at will without any restriction. Fast forward to present, we are having a lockdown in our own house. Unable to go anywhere, keeping a safe distance from others, wearing a face mask when, whenever you want to go outside, and using hand sanitizer after every few moments or minutes. Even as time goes by and this new normal becomes a way of life for everyone, this new lifestyle and newly gained awareness about well-being and hygiene will, will remain. Of this hand perfection, purification at frequent periods has found widespread approval be it pandemic or not further awareness promotion on sanitizing sanitation are on their way and government are establishing hand sanitizer at various public areas to avoid direct contact many people are choosing for contactless or touchless automatic hand sanitizer dispenser as they are considered to extend an additional layer of safety an automatic hand sanitizer dispenser is the perfect option compared to the traditional ones that involve direct that uh, as it is not involved direct contact at all. This idea triggered our group to do temperature sensor and automatic hand sanitizer dispenser using Arduino Uno, LCD display, a temperature sensor, a buzzer and two LED lights and also a server motor. LCD will display the record temperature to the user. The server motor is an ele electrical device which can push or rotate an object with great precision. The hand sanitizer dispenser being uh, will be represented by this server motto, which display as open and close as uh, as what we are com uh, command. Uh, the temperature sensor, the LED, and the buzzer. The temperature sensor will discrepancy in the temperature, and if the temperature is higher than the uh, than the setup temperature, then what we have uh, set, the the LED will turn red, and the buzzer will uh, will be sounded and. It will vice versa. Problem statement. Uh, we found three problems when we uh, want to go for this project. The first one is the old way of using hand sanitizer such in public places when you need to make direct contact with the bottle cap can raise an infection. Second one, thermometers are not very popular nowadays as it not very accurate and may expose to infectivity. And the third one, even if we use normal infrared thermometer, it can just display the temperature be it high or low temperature without alarming the others. For the objective, uh, to design the first to design temperature sensor that not just display temperature but also alerting others if an abnormal reading is detected using Arduino program. The second one to create a touchless or uh, contactless hand sanitizer dispenser where one does not require to make direct contact using ultra distance sensor. And the third one is to develop less cost temperature sensor an automatic hand sanitizer dispenser so that many places can be equipped with the system, especially during this pandemic period. There are 10 different components that we use in this project. The first one is Arduino Uno. Arduino is an open source electronic 
platform based on easy to use hardware and software. Arduino boards can interpret input such light on, sen on a sensor, a finger on a button and turn it into an output, triggering, triggering a motor, turning on uh, an LED, advertising things online. The board can do what we instruct by delivering a set of commands to the microcontroller on the board. To do so, the use of Arduino programming and the Arduino software IDE are very important. Okay, the second one, temperature sensor TMP36 model. The TMP36 are precision low voltage centigrade temperature sensor. It gives a voltage output that's linearly proportional to the Celsius temperature. In contrast to a thermos therm Mr. the TMP36 does not have a temperature sensitive resistor. Instead, this sensor uses the property of diodes. When a diode shifts temperature, the voltage fluctuates at a known rate. The sensor processes the difference and based on it output an analog voltage between 0 to 1.75 VDC. Next is piezo buzzer. In simple terms, a piezo is a type of electronic device that is used to generate a tone, alarm, or sound. It is fruity with a simple structure and it is normally a low cost product. They work by utilizing a piezo crystal, a specific material that shifts form when voltage is applied to it. If the crystal press against a diaphragm, like a tiny speaker cone, it can produce a pressure wave which our ears perceive as a sound. Next is resistor. Resistor is a passive two-terminal electrical component that execute electrical resistance as a circuit element. In the circuits, resistor are used to decrease current flow, modify signal level to split voltage plus active uh, elements and cis transmission line. The resistor works by transforming electrical energy into heat which is dispersed into the air. Then LED. A light emitting diode LED is a semiconductor device that emits light when electrical current flows through it. Light is created when current carrying particles, electrons and holes combine in the semiconductor material. This phenomenon is called the principle of the electroluminism. Next is a potentiometer. A potentiometer is a three terminal resistor with a sliding or rotating contact that construct a flexible voltage divider. Potentiometers are usually used to control electrical tools such as volume controls on audio equipment. Potentiometer works by adjusting the position of a sliding contact across a consistent resistance. A potentiometer has two terminals of the output source fixed on the end of the resistor to adapt the output voltage, the sliding contact get turned along, along the resistor on the output outside, which means that potentiometer is uh, usually is the device that we use to uh, to on or off the the current device. Then servo motor. A servo motor is a rotary uh, drive or linear drive that enables precise control of angle of the angular and linear position and speeds. It consists of a suitable motor coupled with position feedback sensor. Servo motor are controlled by sending a variable with electrical pulse or pulse with modulation PWM over the control cable. A servo motor can generally only rotate 90 degree in each direction for a total of 180 degree of movement. For the eighth uh, component, it is ultra distance sensor. An ultra distance sensor is electronic device that calculate the distance of an object by emitting ultrasonic sound waves. 
and transform the reflected sound into an electrical signal. This is just like how the radar process the time it takes a radio wave to return after reaching an object. Okay, uh, for the next one is the LCD, which uh, is liquid crystal display. Uh, LCD is a type of flat screen which uses liquid crystal in its main method of process. LCD have a wide and variable range of use case for consumer and business as they can be generally found in modern device. And last but not least is the breadboard. A thin plastic board used to keep electronic components such as transistor, resistor and other electrical components that are connected. It used to develop models of electronic circuits and breadboards can be recycled for many upcoming projects. A breadboard is used to develop and test circuits rapidly before complete, completing any circuit design. The breadboard has many holes into which components like ICs and resistor can be implanted. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ahmad Faiz Plain Zukan 9. And for my part, I will be showing the following uh, parts of the report in this presentation. So, the first part is the flowchart of the programming. And as you can see, at the starting, we have uh, the temperature screening. And then, the input uh, is from the temperature sensor. And then follows uh, to the next one. So uh, I declared that if the does the temperature exceeds in either exceeds in thirty seven point seven. So if it exceeds, it goes it goes uh, on to the left side. So then uh, the output will be uh, the red LED will turn on, and then the buzzer also turns on, making sound while the LCD would display the temperature uh, following the, the number of the temperature itself and then it will end so if the, temp uh, if the temperature does not exceed uh, 37.7 which is the limit so on the right we will see the output that a green LED would turn on but there will be no buzzer sound as opposed to the uh, exceeding temperature so still the same uh, LCD displays the temperature itself uh, accordingly so for the following one would, uh, would be the hand sanitizing, process, hand sanitizing process so that would be on the second part so for this one for the second part of the system uh, the hand sanitizing, hand sanitizing process so if there's an input uh, is the distance sensor where the where a person would um, put their hand near the distance sensor so does the hand distance uh, is the hand distance with the sensor below than 5 cm if it's not below than 5 cm which means it exceeds 5 cm more than 5 cm so it will go back up to the input then it well as the if the hands are below five centimeter meaning be, uh, meaning four or three and so forth the output will be the servo dispensing the hand sanitizer and then uh, the following it will be ending termination so for the next one is the circuit diagram uh, as you can see this is the diagram of the full circuit there are there's an LCD right here there's a, a, a micro distance sensor right here there's a servo right here there's a potentiometer on this one uh, a few four resistors uh, a, piezo, uh, a piezo a buzzer a uh, red LED, a green LED and a temperature sensor so there are two systems here one on the left with the potentiometer and then another system is one on the right so the one on the right is for the hand sanitizing process and for the left is the 
temperature detecting uh, process system but so these are the components that are displayed on the board before uh, one Arduino Uno R3 there is one temperature sensor one uh, 220 ohm resistors one LCD and then there's one potentiometer one ultrasound distance sensor one micro servo and one piezo and three one kilo ohm resistors one green led and one red led so for the coding part so <coughs> for the first part of the uh, coding we will include a uh, liquid crystal h and servo which uh, liquid crystal h is the lcd display while the servo h is the uh, micro servo we have to declare if, uh, we have to put it include the two items first and uh, then the liquid crystal lcd would be the lcd display itself and then we will uh, declare uh, integers that are some of the integers are i declared was uh, we declared was sensor pin set underscore distance distance underscore sensor v underscore distance and celsius so for the next part of the coding uh, is the servo itself so there's servo servo underscore six which it uh, connects to the sixth pin as you can see so at first we put in uh, we, we put in pin mode and digital right so at first the servo is at low does not um, move and then uh, a, we put in the, the, a delay in the microsecond uh, in delay uh, and then put the digital right uh, for high which has delay of uh, 10 microsecond and then digital low again and then a uh, return in post uh, which is in high uh, for the next void setup uh we put in the SED and zero begin for the SED as well and the servo for pin 6 as you can see the first uh, one is pin 6 and then 500 pitch for the duration of 2500 uh, microseconds and there are three uh, pin modes right here which are outputs uh, digital pin 13 8 and 9 uh, one of the uh, uh, this one of these two are uh, the green both of these two are the green and the red LEDs so we inserted the void loop for the servo so at this point I, I set up uh, the distance in less than or equals to 5 cm so if it's Five cent. If it's uh, less than in five cent, uh, less than five or same as five centimeter, the servo would uh, go ninety degrees, meaning it will trigger the servo, and then a delay for three thousand millisecond, or ignore the uh, notation for edit three thousand. And then after uh, the delay, the servo will come right back to its uh, uh, initial position as uh, the same as above. So for the next one will be for the temperature. Uh, there are uh, a few uh, calculations involved in this according to some resources uh, so that uh, it's easier to uh, achieve or obtain the actual temperature uh, as in Tinkercad uses a, a different uh, temperature sensor as uh, opposed to the one in the studies or the notes so these are the uh, temperature uh, calculation that needs to be added uh, so different uh, as opposed to one temperature increase there are uh, a voltage increase as well so in this uh, part here right here since COVID-19 uh, symptoms for fever 
the temperature will go uh, 37 and 37.7 or higher so meaning that if it's higher the piezo or buzzer uh, would have uh, to be uh, uh, turned on or oh yeah triggered to be triggered uh, and then uh, it will create a sound right here pin 13 with 200 uh, pitch and 500 duration I suppose a uh, red LED would be triggered as well so it would go high while the green LED will go low since if it's a uh, temperature uh, the temperature exceeds uh, the limit so if it's not uh, exceeding the temperature limit uh, the piezo or buzzer will not uh, turn on or not be triggered while the red LED will, uh, while the green LED will be turned on while the red LED will be turned off therefore the highs uh, for the green LED and uh, the low for the red LED so nine, uh, pin 9 is the green LED while 8 pin is the red LED uh, for the next bit is the result so uh, this one is for the uh, temperature sensor for the first part so as you can see right here uh, I key in I started a simulation I key in uh, at 36 degrees which is the uh, which is the temperature below the limit the limit was 37.7 so therefore if it's 36 degrees the as you can see right here the piezo buzzer does not uh, is not triggered while the red LED stays uh, turned off while the green one is turned on so for the if it's a uh, temperature below the limit so the next one is if the temperature is above the limit which is above 37.7 this case 39 degrees as you can see right here, the piezo buzzer is triggered and the red LED turns on while the green LED turns off. And for the next bit is the distance sensor or our system is the hand sanitizing process. So for this one, uh, as you can see right here, it is 6 centimeters in uh, distance which uh, the limit distance is 5 centimeters and below to trigger the hand sanitizing uh, hand sanitizer uh, to trigger the motion to trigger the distance sensor uh, and triggers the uh, micro servo in this case uh, it is above the limit as you can see it's above six uh, it is at six centimeters so the servo is not turned it's not turning uh, for the second case, uh, if the distance, as you can see right here, is uh, below the limit, which is 5 cm at 4.3 cm, as you can see, the servo turns 90 degrees, hence uh, releasing the hand sanitizer. So, in the third case, is that the distance exceeds um, the limit or meaning exceeds the um, distance sensor which you can see is not in the area spectrum of the sensor so the servo uh, does not turn as well same as the uh, above the limit which is five centimeter so for this part of the video i will be showing the simulation i use take a cat so to uh, set up the the, uh, the circuit so as you can see here there are two systems right here one on the side of the left one on the right uh, the two systems are temperature sensor and the other one on the right is sanitized dispenser so these are the codings same as before so for this one i'll be showing the simulation so you can, as you can see here, the temperature at 24 degrees Celsius uh, sh uh, shows the green LED lights up right there. 
while uh, the piezo buzzer does not uh, turn on or not be triggered so if I uh, push the temperature higher which is 39 in this case now I guess, as you can see the piezo buzzer is triggered while the red LED is turned on while the green LED turns off still because it, is, it exceeds the temperature so if I turn it below again the green LED turns on while the red LED does not turn on and the buzzer is not triggered for the sec for the second system as you can see right here the temp the distance is below here if i can bring it up somewhere be below 5 cm as you can see the micro server starts to uh, rotating and for a while after a while it starts to come back again so if i pull it back higher than the limit the micro server will not uh, uh, rotate 90 degrees therefore no hand sanitizer will be dispensed so that's all for the simulation for the last part of the video presentation presentation is the discussion and conclusion uh, for the discussion i will be presenting this and uh, together with the conclusion so at the early stages of the uh, project uh, where I did the Tinkercad uh, codings and circuit, uh, circuit assembly uh, so there were no there were the absence of green and red LED as well as the piezo buzzer for the temperature um, temperature sensor part temperature system so upon uh, discuss, uh, discussing with the with our lecturer, the uh, Doctor Fauzi, uh, uh, wanted to add uh, a few adjustments to the circuit, where uh, we're adding the piezo buzzer, where usually if the temperature will exceed the certain limits that describes the symptoms of the COVID-19 so the buzzer would uh, alarm uh, people that the temperature of the person would exceed a certain temperature so therefore we added uh, a piezo buzzer to add a little bit more features we added a green and red LED where green LED shows that the uh, temperature of a person would be below the limit or uh, oh yes uh, below the limit whereas the red LED would uh, indicate that a person would have a temperature above the limit which uh, normally for COVID-19 temperature is 37.7 uh, there are also problems that are faced during uh, the coding of the simulation 